ดีค่ะ Good morning from Thailand. Welcome to World of Thai Food. I'm Amy, and today I like to show you how to cook sweet and sour pork or p a t p r i o w a n m u Here's the ingredients: pineapple, cucumber, rice chili, yellow onion, tomato, garlic, spring onion, tamarind puree, palm sugar, 400 grams of pork, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and cooking oil. So now I'm going to start with preparing the vegetable. Cut it into half and cut it into one centimeter. My intention to do this channel is to give a good content about Thai authentic cooking and ingredients. So this year I'm gonna try to make it better, make it more variety, and also I will try to. Make it with better production. Okay, so now it's time to cut the pineapple, and I'm going to use only half of it. After you clean the peel of the pineapple already, you still have the eyes of the pineapple left, so you just cut it diagonally, not too deep. Just like this, you can see the roll, like that. After I've finished cleaning the pineapple, I cut it into three parts like this, and after that, I slice it into one centimeter or one and a half centimeter thick. I like it to be a bit chunky because I don't want it to be uh, too soft while you're cooking it. Okay, so now all the ingredients are ready. Next step is to cook. It's gonna be quick, so let's start. I'm going to use medium heat, and first thing, we have to fry the garlic. Okay, so we can add the garlic into the oil. You fry it until it's fragrant. Or you can notice that the garlic become golden brown. You just fry the pork. Only few minutes. Then you can add onion. Next one, cucumber. You know, just remember put all the hard vegetable in first because it takes some time for them to be cooked. Our main ingredient: pineapple. And after you put the pineapple into the pan, you start to smell the signature smell of this dish: sweet and sour. And tomato. Okay. So now to season it, I'm gonna use four tablespoon of the tamarind sauce. This is my mom's recipe. We don't use any ketchup. Uh, tamarind puree gonna give a tangy sour and a little bit of sweet into this dish. And also one to one and a half tablespoon of the palm sugar. This thing is also depend on how your pineapple tastes from the beginning. If you got a little bit uh, a sour pineapple from the beginning, then you can use like one and a half tablespoon of palm sugar. But if you have um, sweet pineapple, then I think you can reduce the palm sugar to one tablespoon instead. Okay, we almost ready here. I just put the rest f r e s h l y Just to add some color and a little bit of spiciness, and 
almost the end of the cooking step, we put the oyster sauce. Something like one and a half tablespoon and two tablespoons of fish sauce. And the last step, you just toss this spring onion into the pan and it get more color and it smell even better. It's ready. Let's test it. Hmm. It smells really nice. And it tastes really good. And that's how to make sweet and sour pork or mu pad priyawan in a very clean way. No MSG, no ketchup, but it is really flavorful dish. You have to try this at home. Find the ingredients below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website at worldofthaifood.com and don't forget to share some of your comments while cooking and testing this dish for today. Have a spicy day. I'm going to taste this one too. Thank you.